Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And today, I have another breakup story to share with you. And if you have a breakup story, please send it to writemac.com. I'll take a look at it and possibly make a video just like this. Take it a step further. We could book a live coaching session and talk through FaceTime, Google Hangouts, or Skype. So if you like this video, throw me a like. If you got a comment to make, you, you want to shed some light on what's going on here, put it in the comments. Thank you. Let's just get into it. Hi, Mac. Thanks for your videos. My ex moved in with me as we was together. We was together for three years. I like that. She let her daughter cho choose to move with her father. So you're together three years and her daughter chose to move with her father. We was both totally in love for the whole time. She wanted to spend t every moment of her time with me. Well, that feels special and good until it doesn't. However, in the end, she felt she missed her family and came to the decision that she had to move into her own place so she could spend more time with her family, even though three years ago she was aware that they was, they were not very respectful to her. We spoke for months after the break, and she was even keeping this a secret and telling her family that we are not in touch anymore. Well, that's a bit twisted, isn't it? She told me she loves me still, but it's tricky. What's tricky about it? Um, that's a choice to consider it tricky. I have not spoke to her for two months now. I have also lost all my friends as a result of our relationship. That's a victim statement. Uh, blaming her for using your friends is eliminating the fact of your role. You have control of keeping in touch with your own friends and what you do. So if you want to blame her for that, uh, this is where you ask for my honesty. That's... Um, that's not a good statement to make. You can make new friends. You can reconnect with your friends. But the idea, I've also lost all my friends as a result of our relationship. Were they good friends in the first place? What was your role in that? It's too much detail to go into, but I didn't expect it to happen like this. She asked me to get married for the best part of three years. And I've never been married, but she has been married twice. So I was hesitant about marriage. Well, that's natural. If, you don't, if you're hesitant... You got to make a decision on that, you know, one way or the other. A lot of times people don't realize there's not a wrong answer. There's just a decision to be made. She's a very good person. She is also a nurse. That's good. Yeah, that's a good person. But I feel that over time her family pressurized her and she was aware of this too. Well, families come with the individual and unfortunately you're not going to change family. I tell people this, oh, well, her family did this, her daughter did this, her, her ex did this. It's up to her how she filters that and deals with that. You're not going to tell her how she receives her family, and everyone's different on that, and that's part of the package of who you're with. What, what I want to ask really is, what's the point? Well, at what point will she realize that she needs to have her own life too? Well, that's her responsibility. I'd have to talk to her about that, and she would have to feel like she would have to feel like that was a problem in the first place. See, what you're not realizing is your relationship with your family is probably a lot different than her relationship with her family. And you're projecting the idea of, well, why are you acting this way? She was raised different. She had different life experiences. So to, to say that again, what I want to ask really is at what point will she realize that she needs to have her own life too? Does she even consider that a problem? You know, maybe she, maybe she embraces the fact that her family is her family's problems are her problems because she also recognize, recognized all of those things but buckled in in the end of them. They're all, they're all over 18, so I feel like my ex is being used and will later get it down the line. That's her responsibility, not yours. You're not going to talk her into that. So if you're saying they're all over 18, meaning they're, I, I don't know if these are siblings or daughters or sons, it's her responsibility to react to that in her own way. You can chime in, you can give your take, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to change her mind. And like I said, if she doesn't think there's a problem, she's probably going she's probably one of those people that's always going to put her family first, and there's a lot of people like that. And when someone's in a relationship with someone like that, it's really difficult because if they're not the same way with their family, you know, you just can't see eye to eye on things. And I'll take it a step further. Divorces and, and long-term relationships, you know, three years is pretty long. Uh, a lot of times they are broken up due to families and due to families jumping in 
and uh, affecting things. So this is not uncommon. You're not going to change her family or her views on her family. The only person that's going to change her view is herself, and that has and she has to come to that conclusion on her own. So I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com if you've got a breakup story you'd like to share or if you'd like to get a live coaching in. Thank you for supporting the channel.